I guess we ask with the disciples, what does Jesus mean? By saying, a little while you will see me, and again, a little while you will see me. Mysterious words, curious words from Jesus. And so I guess we feel what the disciples felt when they first heard these words of Jesus. A little while you will, you will not see me, and again a little while you will see me. But because we already have the benefit of history, the benefit of the Bible, somehow we have a glimpse of what Jesus meant, although not totally, but at least in part. That he is talking about first the ascension. Because Jesus ascending into heaven, the disciples will not see him. But also because the Holy Spirit is coming, they will see him in a new way. But what these words tell us is this that. Jesus leaving his disciples is not the end. Ascension is not the end. Most probably the disciples were again anxious. No, the Lord will leave us. But what he tells us is that it's not the end. Rather, it's a beginning. That's why the Holy Spirit is sent. A new life. A new beginning, not only for the disciples, but as a community, a new beginning, a new life for the church. That's why we say that Pentecost is the birthday, the beginning of life for the church. Making us understand that this event, Jesus leaving his disciples, this is not the end. And I assume this might be easier for the disciples to accept because somehow they went through the same experience already. When they thought that Calvary was their end, when they thought that the cross what was the end for Jesus, resurrection made them realize that the cross is not the end, that Calvary is not the end, that death is not the end for Jesus. So when he proclaims that leaving them is not the end for them, I assume somehow this time it's easier to accept that in Jesus, there will always be new beginning. That in Jesus, there will always be new life. That in Jesus, there will always be new chances in His mercy. Resurrection reminds us that suffering is not the end. Cross is not the end. Calvary is not the end. Death is not the end. In the resurrection, there is always hope. In the resurrection, there is always continuation. In Jesus, there is always new beginning. In Jesus, there is always new life. Amen.